I'm trying to tell you guys is whoever you are sitting there thinking and thinking, stop thinking, freaking go and do it. Start doing it. If there was something that I wish somebody would have told me a long time ago was start doing something that, that will bring you happiness, which I did, which was continuing getting a whole master's degree in education plus credential to be able to get through 12 setting. I did that. Now I was restless. What, what, what else do I do? Well, now I start doing something else and now I'm doing this. And so um, whoever you are, man, doesn't mean you have to make YouTube videos. No, like if you, that's not your thing, that's not your thing. But maybe you've always wanted to go and sign up for that mechanic school or you wanted to be that barber. Go do it. Oh, well, I don't have the resources. Make it happen. We spent six bucks on freaking overpriced coffee at Starbucks, but you don't have six bucks to your, your dreams? Go recycle. Are you too fancy for that? I think that's a problem. You know, a lot of people are too fancy to do X, Y, or Z. I'll tell you guys. And this brings me to my topic right now. Humbleness. You know, welcome back to another drive and talk. I'm at the point where... I, I truly believe that you're the person, one, who's keeping you, keeping you from reaching that point of quote unquote success that you want or living that life that you want. Everybody else is too fancy around here, man. Um, because everybody's constantly trying to live up to the social media world. That's the problem. The problem is that social media only gives you a glimpse of what people are doing, they only give you the highlights. Most people won't take pictures of the bills and say, oh shit, um, here's a screenshot of my savings account. Negative, 10 bucks, 200. You know, they say that most Americans can't, um, you know, there was an emergency of 1,000 to 4,000 dollars, they don't have it in the bank. But those are the same individuals that have the brand new cars, the fancy dinners, the, the fancy vacations. Now that's your lifestyle, hey, by all means, but all I'm telling you is this, if you're there sitting there like stressed out about what you're doing and, and you wish you had a different career path and you wish and you wish and you wish, that's a problem, man. Like maybe, maybe get rid of the things that you have, you know, maybe that's the reason why you can't, you can't cut back on hours and work because the BMW or the Audi payment won't, won't let you. Now there's nothing wrong with having nice things, but there is something wrong with things having you. Um, and I truly believe that um, And not everybody has to have the same lifestyle that I do Or put themselves to what I'm Again, yeah, I'm not even sacrificing You know, uh, I guess what I can tell you guys is um, When it comes to me I drive two older cars mainly This is the newest cars we have This is my wife's car And I love driving the older cars I don't like having issues with them I'll be honest with you guys, I don't But it gives me the sense of satisfaction where like god forbid like something else like this what's we're going on going on with the pandemic and and maybe you get sick yourself and and then bills start piling up i've always told myself i don't want to put my wife in a situation where she can't handle it i don't want her to be like oh shit now i'm dealing with this and this and on top of that bills um because that is the reality the reality is that we're constantly just pushing ourselves to more bills I want to go on that vacation. Yeah, you don't have the money. You put it on credit cards and then the vacation follows you home. Well, I want that new car. Why? Oh, because my old car is not new anymore. Yeah, sometimes there's real reasons. Oh, the, the, you know, it's overheating and the transmission went out. And Okay, cool. But then what kind of car are you going to go buy? You know, um, especially us in the, in the car community, you know, a lot of people will say, well, it's my car. I, I want to do what I want. True. True. But if you're really happy and there's no stress behind it, then that's good. But if not, I'm just saying maybe maybe lower your lifestyle. Maybe lower some 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 parts of it. You know, um, one of the guys that I follow on Instagram, uh, he made he made a comment about the stimulus check and 1,200 that people got, and people are quick to to either spend it or they already have spent it. It was just kind of like they grab it and they, they give it to somebody else. And I truly believe that that's the way most society lives. That's why people are tripping out right now about work and, and, and the fact that, hey, it's been close to a month and I haven't gone to work. I need to feed my family. I get it. But you, you also have to remember this, this should be a wake up call that in case something happens to you in a personal level, 
you don't set yourself up where you can't go a month without paying your bills if you don't have any income coming in. Everybody's hurting, man. And so you're not the only one. Um, you know, it brings me to another point. I read another comment where somebody said, why should 75% of us um, sacrifice for the 25% that shouldn't go out, like the elderly or the people that had, are sick and things like that? Isn't that a little bit of selfish from them? You know, as a... As a society and economy to not go out because we're trying to save 25% and so to me I believe like every life is important like just because I don't know you it doesn't mean that you're less than or more than I am it's just you're a human being and so you're a father you're an uncle you're a aunt you're a sister to somebody you're a daughter to somebody just because we're healthy and we're young we're like well it doesn't matter I'm not saying be clueless don't care about it at all but you know have in the back of your head man it's, it's somebody else's life that it's at hands like that's a life like that's ultimately at the end of the day this is all make-believe material shit social media and so if you have that mentality where like well it's selfish for people to have to stay home man i i hope i really hope nothing ever bad happens to you because then at that point you're going to realize right now you might be young but in 40 50 60 years from now there's going to be another type of disease there's always going to be a disease it's never going to go away that says you know it's going to affect the older people I hope that young people by then are looking at you and be like, damn, we care about you. Instead of like, well, this is selfish that we're having to stay. It's just about different mentalities. And so I just kind of, I'm not here to tell you guys how to run your life or, you know, it's just, like I said, this is my safe space for me to express my feel feelings and thoughts. And so all I'm saying is I'm looking to be happy. I'm looking for you guys to be happy, have a little simplistic life. And if you're out there driving an older car and you wish you had a newer car, hey, work for it. Take your time. Sometimes the people with the new cars, they're, they're more stressed out than you are. And you're driving the older car, and they're looking at you like, man, that guy has no stress in the world. Meanwhile, you're looking back at them like, damn, they have it all. We're constantly thinking the opposite. So all I'm saying is maybe if, you, if you're unhappy with some, some aspects of your life, just understand that you're, um, you're the one. You're the one who can fix it. You're the one. It just takes, it takes humility sometimes. It takes you, especially working at a bank or whatever, where you're cl- the tellers have fucking nicer, nice, nicer cars than the the upper management. Yeah, maybe you gotta start driving your your mom's old car, the, the hand me down. Maybe you gotta get rid of that car payment. But yeah, you have to be humble for that. You have to show humility. You know, I, I show up to my work, and I drive my my wife's 2002 Dodge Stratus, and obviously has no AC. It's pretty beat up. A couple of the bumpers are ripped, and yeah, could I quote unquote afford a car payment, a newer one? Yeah. Do I want to? No. Why? You know, it's just not the right timing. You know why I did that? I did that with the Subaru STI and it wasn't the right timing. It was, you know, I thought it was the right time because I put myself through school and I had paid all my student loans and I was like, man, like I deserve this and I, I talked myself into it. By a year, a year later and a half, I was like, man, this is not it. There should be bigger goals in this. Now, the desire to have a car, a nice car especially, it never goes away, especially if that's your hobby. But it's about when and when and how. And so, I just kind of want to give you guys a, a nice little sense of, uh, you know, point of view. For those out there who are constantly thinking about a newer car like myself, damn, I can't wait to get that car. Hey, chillax. Maybe you haven't got it because it's not the right time. For those who already have it, kick back in other uh, aspects of your life so you can have your car um, and you're not stressed out with bills you know um, and I know for a fact that there's some people out there who are really content with themselves especially older individuals and that's that's those, those are the individuals I like to talk to I've seen that a lot of older individuals are driving older cars Hondas I asked them like why they're like one I don't want a payment I've been through that stupid two this is cool I get to build on a budget and if I don't have that money that, that month it cuts into my funding my savings I just don't go out and buy it and it's 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 just old school plus it's giving me a nostalgia type of feel well that's that's I'm listening I'm listening I'm taking notes because the the, the truth of the matter is um, there seems to be the sense of rush rushness everybody wants it now and it's all because of social media all I'm telling you is this man take your time take your time we're, we're all in this you know beautiful thing called life and so don't don't constantly be 
putting yourself down for whatever reason and don't constantly think that somebody who's showing these amazing highlights of their life is constantly happy hell no man like those models yeah they look good but maybe they haven't even had a burger in years because they're it's more like a mental thing like they're they're afraid that if you have one by they're gonna look fat or maybe they're to us they're in perfect shape and to them they're still fat whatever we're always gonna be unhappy and so i'm just kind of inviting you kick back on the lifestyle so that way you can have more you enjoy more so things like what we're talking about right now pandemics or emergencies we're able to be a little you know be able to breathe and we're not in such um difficult situation so thank you guys so much for your time i appreciate it like i said this is an open space for me to have communication with you guys agree or disagree leave it in the, in the comment section in a positive way i'm not always right i'm not always wrong this is what it's all about so thank you guys so much and uh we'll catch you guys in the next one i appreciate it